is the question people have been asking for years, but as we get ready to start the new year, are we only getting closer to chivalry being officially dead? You know, what happened to men, like opening up the door for women, uh, getting up when we leave the table? We needed another gentleman's opinion, so our financial guru, Chris Markowski, is weighing in on this topic. Guys, what do you think? Uh, well, look, I'll tell you what happened to chivalry. Uh, feminism happened to chivalry. Uh, what I always love when we talk about this topic, uh, about chivalry being, I I'm an old fashioned guy. I think that you should be, uh, uh, is it chivralic? <laughs> is that the right word? Chivalrous? <laughs> chivalrous, thank you. you. Uh, chivalrous. Uh, you should be, but uh, but here's the thing. I, what I love is the convenience feminist. You know what I mean? Like, whenever it benefits her, she's a, you know, she's an old school girl. You know, like, oh, you know, give me the wedding ring. But I'm not going to take I your name. need you over here, girl. Open the door. Oh, uh, wait, and pay wait the bill. Uh, but, you know, I'm going to go to work no. when I want to go to work. <laughs> Her husband does for a living, but likes the mink coats and the diamond rings and all that stuff. Right. Mob wife syndrome. Now, I, I think that uh, I, I think it actually depends upon the woman that you're you're dating. You're going to be with. You would know more. I mean, you're a young gal. I agree. With you. There's mm -hmm. some things that make me a little uncomfortable. Like when a man stands up when I have to go to the bathroom uh, or go to the restroom, I should say, at a restaurant. It makes me a little bit uncomfortable. But you really? like it when he opens the door for you? Um, yeah, I like when he opens the door. I like when he uses his, you know, good manners and you know, going down it's the, the line. Like, pork, right? of course, <laughs> yeah. um, yeah. you know, asking for the dad's, uh, you know, permission to marry the daughter, like things like that, I agree with. But I don't know, some of the things I don't think are really necessary. Yeah, so, but but do you teach? Is this something you're going to teach your son? But it's cherry picking, is my point. Is this something you're going to teach your son? Of course. Absolutely. All of those things. About Absolutely. Okay. No about it. All right. Well, that's our qu head drama question of the day. Is chivalry dead? Let us know what you think. Head on over to our website, dailybusnow.com. Oh, I was going to say, I was just going to introduce Chris. That was awesome. All right. So check out this crazy story that we found here in Florida, Central Florida. 44-year-old Cynthia Colston called 911, not once, not twice, not even three times, but four times because she was not happy with her manicure, with the length of her nails. And, and I was saying, I, I, we miscommunicated before they came over to us. I was just going to say I wanted to introduce our friend Chris Markowski, uh, who has a wonderful radio program on all things financial and political, but we bring him in here on the Daily Buzz to talk about manicures. So, uh, Chris. Because he's a smart man, he knows. Yes, you do. And his wife, I'm sure, gets manicures or yes. gets, uh, you know, the acrylic tips or or whatnot. Mm -hmm. I know she's probably had a moment where she's going, man, I don't like it today or whatever. You know, she no? wouldn't call 911. She wouldn't call 911. <laughs> and, and listen, this, this is, you know, I remember there was a debate you guys were having here on the program. This was like several weeks ago talking about voting and who should vote and who shouldn't vote. This lady should not be allowed to vote. That's <laughs> a perfect example. Thank you. Take a listen to this woman calling. This is, I think, her third or fourth 911 call. She has a cop oh. next to her at the place where she's getting the manicure, and this is the 911 call. Take a listen. Ma'am, do you understand what I'm saying? What is that? Talk to him. Don't call 911. Obviously, the dispatcher was not happy on this. Well, anyway, she says, you know, she called 911 twice on purpose, and then she couldn't dial the phone to call whoever. Because the length of her nails. Right, and so she actually <laughs> dialed 911 again and again with her knuckles. But Whatever. Like the people, Crazy. We, we've heard other stories where people call uh, 911 because they don't like their McDonald's filet yeah. fish. You know, it's not high enough, so they, they think that they should call 911. Absolutely. Another story that we found uh, this morning, uh, some about political phrases. These are the best ones. Yeah of 2010. These are the, the uh, now this is according to the liberal website Talking Points Memo. So four out of the five are uh, kind of making fun of conservatives, but they are very funny. The first one being well, Man Up it. by Christine O'Donnell. She actually took number one yeah. and number two. Man Up and I'm Not a Witch. Those I'm are the not first a witch. and second most, rem most remarkable political quotes of the year. Hell no, you can't. Yeah, uh, yeah, that was John Boehner so, uh, talking about the health care. You know, we just passed this health care bill. Did, can you say you read all 7,000 pages? Hell, Hell no, no, you can't. can't. Uh, repudiate. Sarah Palin. Sarah Palin. And held hostage, uh, said often by President Obama, talking about Republicans uh, holding the people hostage over the Bush tax cuts. Any phrase that stick out in your head from 2010? Or, or are these I, I on know, your list? These, you know, I would, the which one I would have definitely thought of. Um, mine weren't the funny one, but I think the big word of the year was probably austere. You know, everybody trying to save a little bit of money. Austerity. You know, austerity. austerity. Yep. Yeah. All right, okay. more to the buzz coming up. It has been going on for years. His chivalry dead. Yeah. <laughs> no?
No. Yes? No, it's we not We got the dead. two guys in here to talk about it. You say no. Uh, chivalry's not dead, and you know, this is, we're, we're talking about this because, yeah, we're coming into a new year, and, and this seems to be one of those recurring topics that's always on the female-friendly bogs. But, uh, you know, I, what I think is interesting is, you know, I'm a traditional guy. I think that you, I think chivalry is a good thing. I think, of course, people, no matter what your sex, you should just be kind and, and courteous, courteous to yeah. people. Um, but I always think it's interesting in our modern culture of feminism, you know, where it's like, you know, treat me exactly the same in the boardroom, but just hold the door on the way out. What's wrong with me. that? Well, I mean, what's, and you blame feminism. Uh, feminism, feminism has nothing to do with how you should act as a man. You know, because I want to be able to vote, uh, make equal, right. make equal right. pay, and have the equal opportunities at the job. Right. That has nothing to do with you acting right as a man. Okay, but but where? But but I'm saying if we're in the society Sorry, where, Chris. where if we're in the society <laughs> we where we're all, all in, if we're in the society where we're all exactly equal, we're it's all not exactly about equal, all being equal to the, the guy, point of the, eliminating the, roles. Where's the woman holding well, for me or giving me a men? diminishing ring or or you know? And I don't mind. Why are we you know, about men then why are we saying if that's what the, the about feminism then why is that the same Andy said like that. it is well, Andy no, said what that. I'm saying is is that you were saying that's not what feminis feminism is. What is chivalry? Chivalry, then? Do you know what I'm saying? I mean, why is it that if it's expected for us to do things, much like feminism is allowed to have those rights, why aren't we allowed as men to have the same rights as saying that we can do totally whatever like we it want? Totally like it is. And you I are, and I don't about. mind buying you a diamond oh, ring and proposing really? to you. No, not you. But what I'm saying is I don't <laughs> mind, you know, being courteous to you or, or helping you or whatnot. But don't think just because I want to be treated equally in the boardroom, then I don't want you to hold the door for me. I do want you to hold the door for me. See, I, 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 I agree with Kia on this one. Woo! I, 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 agree with I, I think it's, I mean, I don't understand where the, there's a disconnect. I mean, because yeah. um, to me, it's if you are, if you can do the equal job of a man, then you should get paid the same amount. But that also includes you got to be at work the same time. you got to be doing everything exactly the same. That doesn't change the way that it's still a woman. I want to treat her differently because, I don't know, just, it's, I guess I was brought up. But it doesn't matter to me because it all comes down to, like, dollars right. and cents in the, in the boardroom or in the workplace. Right. It's all about the bottom line. If you can do and create just as much money for my business as a man sure. you're going to pay, pay just the same amount of money. I don't care if you're, you know, it doesn't matter what you are. All right, are. so that's our head drama question of the day. Do you think chivalry is dead? Email us dailybuzznow.com or contact us on Facebook, Mitch. Question people have been asking for years, but as we get ready to start a new year, we're, you know, talking about this again. Is chivalry becoming dead? Is it officially dead? Are we moving closer to that time? Chris Markowski is joining us as the, as the man who can weigh in on this topic. Do you still open the door for your wife, pull out the chair for her, still do those things? Well, I I try to, okay? I try oh, to. Some days you're going to forget. Like Sometimes you forget as, you, you know, going along. But definitely when we were first dating, when we were first married, did it all the time. And obviously from time to time you're going to forget. No one's perfect in regard to that. But I got an interesting take on this. I mean, you guys do a lot of the, the celebrity hot mess. Right. And a little bit older, come from a different, maybe a different, it's not that long ago, but a different time. Mm -hmm. You know, you take a look at a lot of uh, the women that are out there, the, the Kardashians, the Paris mm -hmm. Hiltons, all these types, mm -hmm. they don't seem to have any respect for themselves. And unless women have respect for themselves and the way they put themselves out there and the way that they act, yeah, exactly. then men are not going to treat them with respect. And maybe that's why that's maybe going by the wayside. Yeah, good point. I think a lot of it has to do with how you're raised. You know what I mean? This is not necessarily something that men develop through time, but if you're raised mm -hmm. that way, if your mom is enforcing it, you know, say yes ma'am, no ma'am, open up the door for ladies, you know, then I think that carries over throughout the years. And I have a nine-year-old son, and uh, just the other day, um, he opened the door and started walking. I said, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah. And he went, oops, sorry. And there I think you have to start them start when it. they're Absolutely. at that age, yeah. you know, to, to learn, okay, it's okay to open the, the door, not only for a lady, but for mom. Exactly. You know what I mean? And, and be respectful. We have a couple of viewers weighing in on this topic. Dwayne Potter says, as I say, when giving up my seat on the bus, it's not dead. It is just hiding in strange places. I like that one. <laughs> and Deanne, I don't think it's necessary to get up when I excuse myself for the restroom. I said that earlier. I agree with you. But it is polite to open the door. Let the ladies sit first and other nice sub subtleties. If men and women don't teach their kids proper etiquette in the old school ways, then eventually none of their younger generations will not have any understanding of respect and how to treat their significant other, kind of what we were just saying. Absolutely. And I think that applies to ladies too you know yeah. you have to learn how to accept that you yeah know? Uh, that's our head drama question of the day do you think chivalry is dead dish your drama dailybuzznow.com is the place to go no. you can also reach us on Facebook at the official Daily Buzz Facebook page
there. Yeah, How are you guys? Much, man. Um, all right, so there's this crazy story about this uh, woman in Deltona, Florida. They all happen here in Florida. She's at uh, <laughs> a nail salon uh, getting a manicure, and she calls 911. 911 because she's upset with uh, basically the way the manicure comes out. Now, we're joined by uh, Chris Markowski, the watchdog on Wall Street, who also owns uh, Markowski Investment and, from what I understand, a very nice nail salon in the Sarasota yeah, it's area. It's called, uh, there you go. <laughs> it's called the Bite and Clean. Uh, and she's like, what are you doing? Yeah, bite my nails. No, but listen, okay, in, in ancient Rome and ancient Greece, your citizenship was valued, yeah. and they would take your citizenship away. We have to, you know what we can do? We can take care of the national debt. We buy Greenland, we take place people like this, and we send them up there and create a reality show and watch them go wild. Great idea, Chris. They find people for this. We'll be back in just a moment. For fun.